Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, I came home from school this weekend for like the first time this semester, actually, um, and I really wanted to show you what I had the extreme pleasure of coming home to. Um, yeah, I've been waiting for this for a long time, and it's the continuation of um, K Scope's Porcupine Tree vinyl reissues, um, and I'm so happy to finally have it. It's uh, the Sky Moves Sideways by Porcupine Tree. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, this thing's been out of print for a long time, and uh, originally it came out on, I think, blue vinyl, and it came with like a 7 I think Derek's got it. But, um, and yeah, the eBay prices have always been insanely high, like three to five hundred dollars for this thing, um, the original pressing, but this is a reissue and arguably nicer than the original. Um, yeah, it's, this is fascinating. Here, I'll take it out. Um, and this is, um, I think it was done by Tone Float, who is pretty much my, it's gotta be my favorite record label. Because they just, they know how to do vinyl, let me tell you. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. They use the finest materials. So cool. Porcupine Tree is, you know, if I really want to be honest with myself, they are probably my favorite band. <sighs> so, this is huge. So that is now my, I think, fifth, fifth Porcupine Tree album that I have on vinyl. I'll quickly show the others. I'm not going to open them all up and everything, but I'll show you the ones I have. That's the only one I have from um, from the Delirium era. Um, the first four records they made where they were kind of just a Stephen Wilson solo project. Um, that's the only one I have from those four. So hopefully I'll pick them up one day. They are reissued, so I can probably get them fairly easily. Um, even though shipping from the UK, is, it's going to end up running me about $40 a piece. So it's no easy... Uh, no easy commitment. Um, that's okay. Um, this one I have. This is Light Bulb Sun. This is the next one they have. This is kind of when they became a full band, and you can tell this is when they get. This is when they get pretty serious. So this is a great album. I'm not going to pull it out and everything, but this is awesome. Again, insanely nice packaging. All of these Porcupine Tree albums that I have are probably the nicest packaged records that I own, um, and I have a good bit for how long I've been collecting. So. I mean, take my word for it. If you don't have any Tone Float releases, go check them out because their uh, their products are absolutely astounding. Like how nice these things are is incredible. So yeah, I can never say that enough. Um, and then I have In Absentia. I'm gonna have to take this one out because I have a pretty rare version. Um, yeah, this thing is. This thing could fetch a nice price. As you can see, it's got the, I don't know if you can tell, it's got like a spot garnished, yeah, see? Like clear paint on the front, yeah, it's hard to tell. And on the back as well, the pictures are the same thing. Um, but yeah, really cool. I love that picture. Oh man. <laughs> um... And yeah, the reason this thing is rare is for this blue marble vinyl. Yeah, this thing's this thing's pretty rare. I haven't I've only played this once, I think. I'm afraid to play it any more than that. Even though, you know, deep down I know I will never sell this thing. Uh <laughs> I just don't want it to I just don't want it to lose its its sheen, if you will. Um so that's yeah, that's a great one. If you don't know Porcupine Tree, by the way, they're kind of this uh, modern, progressive rock. I hate to call them that because they're. I mean, yeah, I guess they're progressive rock, but they're really they're really unique. I mean, a lot of people haven't jumped on board. A lot of older progressive rock fans do enjoy them, but they will. They're afraid to put them up on the pedestal with all the old classics. You know, um, you know. I think I think a lot of guys that grew up in the '70s loving in the 60s, loving, you know, old school prog and everything, I think they're kind of quick to say that they're kind of like a Pink Floyd revival, like a modern day Pink Floyd, and, you know, they can't live up to 
to like you know the classic stuff. I kind of disagree. I think uh, I think they do surpass a lot of classic progressive rock on many levels. Um, not all the time, but I think generally um, I do do prefer Porcupine Tree more than a lot of a lot of older progressive rock. But that's just me. Um, and then next I've got Sphere of Blank Planet. This is amazing. <laughs> it's so cool to have all these things. So cool to have all these things. And uh, finally, I've got I've got the Incident, which is their latest release. This came out in 2009. They're a little behind, um, and the reason they're behind is, or the reason they're not making new music right now is basically because Stephen Wilson, I think, feels that he's in a creative flow with his solo work as expressed in this album, which came out last year, uh, Grace for Drowning, which is great stuff. Um, I kind of wish they would do some new stuff. <sighs> Hopefully next year. Hopefully next year. Um, Storm Corrosion, which is Stephen Wilson and Michael Ackerfelt of Opeth. Uh, their album coming is coming out, I think, next month. Um, so that'll be pretty neat, and then I think Steve Wilson's planning on releasing another solo record. So it's gonna it's gonna be a while, but I can wait. So anyway, um, main point of this video is this guy. Oh my god! It's all right. That was an insert. <laughs> um, yeah, this thing is absolutely fantastic. I'm so happy to have this. So, yep. Uh, so uh, that's all I got to say. But thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys soon.